Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick uh, tear down and disassembly so you can see what's inside the Sentec 98674 5-in-1 uh, digital multimeter. These aren't bad to get into. To get into the battery cover, you know, you make sure you unplug the probes. There's screws on each side of the battery cover, which I kind of like because you have two screws instead of one. These screws aren't captured, so they'll fall out when you remove the battery cover. So you want to be kind of careful of that. Pull out those two screws. There's a little place to get your thumb to pop out the battery cover. It has two catches. So it kind of goes in from the top and rocks in. There's your primary fuse, the one that you'd replace if you overload the amperage. So now here's the funky part, which is getting the cover off. And you got to start from the bottom and kind of just work and push. It's tight, but you can do it. There it is. Then you kind of rock and pull it up out. There it is. It looks kind of funky without its cover. There appears to only be four screws, one in each of the corners. Those appear to be actually number two Phillips. But I'll go ahead and use my number one Phillips because the holes are pretty tight. You need a very uh, narrow number two Phillips to fit down in here. They are pretty tight since these are the first time they've been removed. My understanding is on some plastics when they run the screws in high speed at the factory, they use special torque drivers, uh, assembly tools, and they're actually, um, you know, they're like electric screwdrivers and whatnot, but they have uh, electronic torque limiting, so they'll always run in a million screws uh, to the exact same setting. But they do it so fast that sometimes the plastic actually melts a little bit, which is a good thing for them because it keeps the screw real tight, but you have to be careful removing it. And we're almost done here. Let's see if any of these screws will. One screw came out. Sometimes all the, the screws don't want to really fall out. You just want to try not to lose them. There's the four screws. Now let's see if we can't get it to separate. There it goes. Feels like there's a clip or something on top. Just a second here. It was pretty tight on top. There wasn't actually a clip. It was just really tightly tucked into this space. There's a lip all around the multimeter and a countersunk channel to keep grit out of it. And I think that's pretty interesting. So obviously this unit can be recalibrated, which I think is pretty neat. You have all these potentiometers all throughout this unit. Actually, if you look closely, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11 potentiometers. So one for the sound level, one for the humidity or temperature, and one for the light. You can see that that's all on its own separate board. We can zoom in there. There's your microphone. And the rest of the sensors on the other side. I don't want to take this totally down because it would be difficult to get back together with those little wires. There's your processor. It has two chips on there. I'm not exactly sure why there's two, but there's obviously some type of reason. There's a, some type of capacitor or circuit right here that was... Um, this one right here is pretty well squished over, probably to fit inside the case. We can uh, look inside the case. It does have a sh uh, metallic shielding, so it doesn't get interference if it's sitting on top of some power cables. So that's a good design. And not a whole lot else. Here's a quick look at the way the buttons, how it determines whether you're... Uh, uh, connector is plugged in or not as this is a little button here and it just lifts up so when you put in the the probe it lifts the button up and that's how it knows 
whether or not and it just bridges two little contacts on each side and that's how it knows if your probe is in the proper position other than that it's a uh, pretty straightforward little unit to tell you the truth this whole part with the oh that's interesting So the whole front board on it just plugs in. It has four different plugs to connect to it for the various functions. This board right here is actually soldered by a standoff connectors. So anyway, that was just a quick look inside so you could see how it was built. Um, anyway, Caddis Maximus out and uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.